Hey guys, Peter here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to share with you a little trick that I thought of, of how to sketch and trace a painting that you would like to make that's already out there. You saw something nice online. Maybe it's a famous painting and you want to paint it yourself. So here's the painting that I'm going to be attempting. So this is a painting by Rosanile Watchmeister. Um, I think it's called Sun, and she traditionally paints cats. So my mom one day told me she really liked that painting, and I'm going to try to paint it for her and surprise her with it. So I have the canvas ready right here. And you are going to need some things for this project. So what I got is the cheapest projector you can get. Yeah, so now you already know what this trick's gonna be about. So this projector actually was on Amazon for $60 Canadian. And I'm like, wow, okay, that's cheap. That's great, because I'm not looking for a projector that gives out good quality. I just needed to be able to project the image, which will be the painting, on my canvas, and then I'll take a pencil and sketch it out. So let's see how it goes. Hey guys, one really cool feature that I just checked out with this uh, cheap projector is that right underneath it, I actually have um, a thing I can screw the cameras onto a tripod. So I just took it off the camera and I got my tripod right here. I'll set it up on that. It's not important. I didn't actually even know that it had this feature, but I thought that was pretty cool to share. Um, also, the only thing you want to make sure your projector does have is something modern enough for you to plug in your laptop or whatever medium you're going to be using that will actually be projecting the image. So I'm using my laptop. So this right here has two HDMI ports and that's all I really needed. And I'll set this up and we're ready to go. All right guys, so this is what it looks like. The projector is kind of loud, so I don't know if the audio is going to be good on this, but I also have my, my light on. Let me just turn that off right away. All right, so as you can see, it's actually pretty bright and it's showing really well uh, on the canvas. Now, the original painting size does not exactly fit proportionally on my painting or my canvas. As you can see, I got about two inches of white border here, a little bit there. I can move it so that it's better. But this painting actually doesn't have a specific side detail that ends in something I would have to expand creatively. So it's very easy for me to just add these streaks of color going this way and continue this, this pattern of, of dots on that. So I'm not too concerned about that. Some paintings, if they do have things on the end, let's say there's like half a house and you're going to have to try to finish it up, probably don't recommend it. Try to find the, uh, the size of the original so that it fits better for you. You don't want to stretch it either because then you're going to make the, the, the sun oval and not round and the cats will look a little chubby. So this is what it is. I'm going to grab my pencil now. I'm going to sketch it out and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right guys, so what you have here is just me drawing the general outline where everything is with a pencil. Now for the first step, I'm just gonna be filling in the background, right? So I don't need to put too much detail into the cat or the sun. The most important part for me are those lines going across the whole painting where I'm gonna be filling out the color of the background before I start putting in the details of the cats and the sun. So what I'll do when I'm done with that and the paint dries, I'll turn it on the projector, match it up again to where I drew, and outline again the details of the sun and the cats. So let me get started on painting this and I'll be back for the next sketch.
Hey guys, uh, the time lapse was cut a little early because my battery died. So I wanted to show you the finished product here. Now I just have one light on, it's a little hard to see, but I feel like I tried to match the colors as much as I could. I did struggle a lot with this light green over here and this pinker color same with this I feel like this was yellow brown and I just couldn't get it right it I'm not an amazing artist I'm just mixing colors as I go and you know I, I'm using uh, more professional paints from Windsor and Newton um, so I don't have too many options kind of like the Bob Ross stuff I got the yellow I got the cadmium yellow I got the uh, what's the red called crimson red I don't even know you got the titanium white and you got the black and I got two shades of blue there's definitely no greens in there so I was just obviously mixing blue and yellow and trying to get the right colors it's difficult but I'm gonna keep going with uh, showing you how to actually trace a painting I'm sure you might have more experience than me so Hopefully this will be useful in regards to the tracing part, which I'm trying to just show you. Thank you. All right, guys, welcome back to the tracing tutorial. Now, there's a couple things that I do want to say, and it's I'm not actually going to finish this painting in this video. Um, the reason for that is I'm already five hours in on painting, recording, and doing this stuff I might have another hour of editing and it's taking too much time <laughs> this is one of my first videos maybe I started with a project that I didn't know was going to take so much time but I'm going to keep going with the tutorial if you want to see the struggles that I went with recording everything I've done so far watch the vlog the vlog I released the same day as this video of Tracing tutorial is going to come out. But, nevertheless, here's the second lesson of tracing. The first time we traced, we traced exactly where the drawing was going. Okay? Um, this time, what we actually have to do is trace a little bit on the inside. So, you see that tail here, for example? You're not going to trace it exactly over the tail. You're going to trace it about... You know this much like uh, one eighth inside the tail the reason you're doing that is because you don't want to go on the painted background you already did and make the tail fatter than it actually is you want to make the trace a lot smaller so that when you draw the tail even if you go over your line that's what it actually should look like so you're gonna make it a little bit smaller than everything you're tracing. So what I'm talking about, all the ears right here, this tail, the sun, and each one of its leaves, and the circumference, you're gonna make it one eighth smaller. So that when you're actually painting again, you're going to paint over your line to get rid of the pencil marks that you're putting on the canvas. That's very important. And I'm gonna end this video right here. Um, you get the gist of it after you've done this and you want to do more details because you just painted all the outlines and maybe you want to put details on the eyes of the sun right here the eyes of the cats you can go ahead again once you've done the outline of the cats put it back on the projector try to line it up 
and then trace again where the eyes are and all the details are, such as the whiskers and the little hairs that they have on top of their heads and that smile or whatever you're missing. And you can keep doing that indefinitely. Just do remember the second trace, you gotta go smaller. Especially when you're doing your third trace, like you're gonna be doing the eyeballs, you wanna make them smaller as well. Because once you put the paint over, you do have to cover the light marks you're making with your pencils. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I also have a daily vlog showing you the struggles about starting YouTube. If that's something you're into, subscribe as well. Give it a thumbs up. Any support I get right now is great, but um, just keep posting if you want to start YouTube. That's my main model right now. And if you want to see more art videos, let me know in the comments below. Thanks, have a good day. Just turn the light off for the dark purples because I can't see the sun that well. So as you can see, I traced very inside. Now if there's some defining lines that are in the middle, such as the nose of the sun. If you notice on the original painting, it's a little blue. Uh, so I will draw exactly where that is in blue, but make the one half that is brown yellow and one that's brighter yellow um, so that this one I don't have to make it smaller because I'm going to paint over that line anyway but anything that I've already did on the outside like this tail I need to make it smaller if you want to see this product finished this I'll call this video part one and one day I will upload part two that you'll be able to see how I actually <laughs> completed the project. I'm not sure when that is going to be, but it's not going to be that long, maybe a week or two, but I'll definitely be working on it more often and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.